All right, guys, we're back in the shop today. Um, before I head over to the house, I am going to prepare some couple pieces of wood for the, well, and the post for the, uh, the railing. Hopefully we're gonna get the railing installed today um, over at that house. So <clears throat> what I've gotta do here is I've got, let's see. Okay, so I've got this post. This is gonna be the post at the top of the stairs. And I need to, uh, and I need to notch out an inch and a quarter here um, so that it, it can fit into the side of the, the stairwell, the area that it's going in. I also need to counter bore a couple of holes for the bolts, the lag bolts that are going to um, attach it to the joist underneath of the uh, of the floor, the floor joist. So um, there will be two two holes here that I got to drill on the drill press. I've got my dado blade in the saw, so I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, notch out this area with that dado blade. But while I'm doing all of that, the girls are over here painting the handrail, and um, that's going to be that's called the rosette. That is actually going against the wall. That will terminate the handrail into the wall. Um, and they already painted the balusters yesterday. So, what do you think, Maddie? Yeah. Good? good. Okay. You're Maddie, good. you're doing a really good job. All right, I'm gonna get, get working on this other wood wait, so you guys bye. can paint that as well. Bye. You gotta wait too. Alright, so Jamie's painting some of these uh, parts for the, the railing. As I showed you guys earlier, the balusters, this is going to be the post, the top handrail, this is going to be the lower um, board for attaching to the ground. We're going to get these all painted up, we'll take them over there and then cut everything down to size and install it. Alright, so I ran over to the hardware store and grabbed some uh, <clears throat> some lag bolts for the um, for the post. I've got everything cut up. Jamie painted those things, and now I am headed over with uh, my father-in-law. I'm going to meet him over at the flip house to install this railing. Okay, so this is where our railing is going to go. That's our post that we've already got painted and pre-drilled and notched out, as you can see. Um, it's going to set right into this corner. I'm going to glue it, and then we're going to set it in place. I'm going to pre-drill for the lag bolts, and then uh, secure it in with those lag bolts. That post is in there and it is solid. Very solid connection at the bottom. The only thing is this detail area is actually the weak point of the post. I noticed when I was grabbing on the handle and pulling on it, I could see this flexing, but the bottom was just very rigid. So I'm happy with how it's installed. Um, let's see what, what we got to do next. Okay, so this board right here is gonna be our bottom plate. I've did a little, it's a, just a one by four poplar. I rounded over this corner to um, just give it a little smoother appearance. Um, and I've started to mark out um, where these spindles or balusters are gonna go. I spaced mine four and a half inches apart <clears throat> because you're not allowed to have, I guess code is um, a minimum of four inches between each baluster. 
So at four and a half inches plus the material of the or the thickness of the baluster, we've got more than enough or less space than than code requires. Nevertheless, that's what we're gonna do. I've got a Forstner bit. I'm gonna drill about a half an inch down at each one of these markings, and then um, get ready to put in the rail and the balusters themselves. No, my sprayer isn't working. Where are you going? Going in my room. Where are you going? I'm going in my room. Where's your room? Where's your Where's your partner? I don't know. He's downstairs. Uh, Look, he just walked. <laughs> just walking around in circles. He wears a tool belt, so uh, so everybody thinks he's doing something. <laughs> Look at him. There he goes again. Look. Hey, man. <laughs> We're just talking about you. <laughs> yeah. I like it. All right, so this rail is just floating in there right now, um, and these balusters are just to hold it up and keep it aligned. I went ahead and I screwed the, that's called a rosette, onto the end of this rail. That will get screwed into the wall, and that's how that end will get secured. This end of the rail will get secured with this bolt. Um, and how this works is, this is called a barrel nut, and what happens is um, we drill a hole up through the bottom of this, and out the side and then this this bolt hanger bolt gets screwed into the post and then the other side is going to be in here now the hole that we use from the bottom is going to accept this um, this barrel and nut and that will tighten up and keep that firmly secured against the post I don't know if you guys can see that because it's holding right there that's what that looks like All right, so the rail is installed. Everything turned out great. Still got a few things to do. I've got to patch these holes down here. I'm just gonna plug those. Um, this didn't get painted up here, this fillet. So we've got to do some touch up paint. Uh, just probably throw a finishing coat of paint on it. I was lucky enough to get into some studs here. So this is nice and secure. Um, my only really, the thing, I guess one of the things is making sure, some lessons learned, I guess I should say. Um, these these uh, balusters, there's not a whole lot of play there at the top. So if these holes down at the bottom are a little bit too deep, then you're going to fall out of that rail. Um, so we kind of had to add like some wood shavings or some glue in there at the bottom to make sure that they stayed up. If I had to do it again, I probably would have 
toe nailed them in place as uh which I'll probably end up going back and doing as well um but toe nailing them like right where that where before we put this piece of wood in here um driving a nail up and into that and then nailing this piece of wood in there um this post looks amazing it's from Osborne Wood Products and it looks great the only thing I see is that when I push on the top here it flexes a little bit and the base is nice and secure but it's, it's I've noticed that it's actually flexing in the post itself the post itself and this narrow part is flexing there so out of the whole railing I would say that the weak point is probably right in here now granted hopefully nobody's like swinging on this thing or using it to do pull-ups or something on but uh, besides that I think everything turned out great and um, I'm really happy with it now we probably have a little bit over four inches here and uh, I didn't really plan that well for that but overall I think it still turned out great and I'm happy with it hey, no, no, no.